The last thing I want to discuss is a, a little what they call a time delay relay. Now, what we have here is another switch um, that is got a solenoid or a, a actually a, a metal disc inside here, and I'll show you that in a minute. Where we put 24 volts across these two uh, connectors here, which will cause the disc to bend or displace and push a pin up which will connect the lead here to one of the leads here now this one has got two leads on this end so um, normally open and normally closed so what that means is when there is no electricity here and the disc is not displacing you may get a current all the way across the normally closed switch and then when the disc does displace and pushes the switch up the normally open switch becomes closed and we have current running from here to here and no longer have current running from here to here and the disc bends or displaces on a time delay it is it takes a while for it to heat up and then it will deform when it reaches a certain temperature and then when the current stops it takes a little bit of delay for that disc to reset itself and come back to a flat position so let's take this open see what we got okay so let's look at the switch I had to um, break it to get it apart but um, this one's no longer any good so make sure you're looking for uh, a cheap one to play around with but uh, um, so you notice here we've got uh, two leads which is where your low voltage runs then we've got the Sorry, the a metal connector that will connect those two leads. And then we have the disc. Uh, this is the one that will displace. It will actually warp to bend up to more concave or convex. And it just sits right down in here. Alright. So when that heats up, that will bend. And here's the pin that it pushes and the pin will sit right on the center there and it pushes up into the hole there which has a switch right into the center of the hole there so we can actually push it the pin much like what the disc would do if it were sitting on top of the disc here and we're going to hook up our leads uh, for our multimeter and we're going to check continuity across the the two leads here. One's normally open, one's normally closed, and the other lead here. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got my leads connected up to the two on the one side of it. Now, what I've got is that it when this switch connects, these two will become closed. And you can see right now it's open. So in the normally open situation with no current running to the base and the pin in its normal position we didn't have a open circuit but when I press this connector as what happens when that dis displaces we now have a fully connected circuit and as you can see with the pins on the right and the bottom one on the left here uh, attached and the switch in the normally de-energized position um, we've got a closed circuit and when the disc is energized and, and displaced the pin is pushed and we now have an open circuit so this switch is a normally open normally closed this is how you can control a switch running high voltage with a 24 volt low voltage circuit using one of these time delay relays. And there you have it. Just a couple of quick checks on uh, some of your standard components on a heating and air conditioning system. Your time delay relay, your capacitor, and a uh, simple pressure switch for your induced draft motor. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you in another video.